guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And today I want to take one last look at the old OTC Genesis and Genesis Evo. Now, I've made a couple of videos on this. If you haven't already checked them out, feel free to. One of them talking about how it's one of the better deals on the used uh, scan tool market. But uh, several other that go into kind of like what to expect out of the last update that they offered, which was the end of 2015. And uh, also uh, just some, you know, showing kind of the capabilities of it. I do get a lot of questions on it, so... Let me go into that a little bit, and what I wanted to show you today was that the CD, or online, if you go and find it, that has the software up here, these are the four programs, and we're going to get a little bit more into depth on those programs. I want to show you how Contact works, how the remote display works, what's in the uh, interactive user's manual, and, uh, and the software update program, which is, again, no longer useful really for updates, but if you end up with a corrupt unit that doesn't want to boot properly, usually this will cure that problem by just doing a reflash of the CF card. Uh, and another piece, uh, about halfway through it, I'll go ahead and knock that out. Let's go ahead and take a look, and I will show you some of the cool functions and features that you probably are not aware that your OTC Evo can do online. All right, so I was going to show you all this, this last segment here. So when you have your OTC Genesis, it comes with the NGIS software. Most of that software is used just to do upgrades or if your files get corrupted, you can go back in. But what I want to show you today is there's actually some pretty cool stuff here that is also available to you. Now granted, some of this stuff is a bit dated, but I'm going to go ahead and power up my Genesis. And uh, then the first thing I want to show you is this. Well, here's the four programs. Run, two, three, four, right? This is just your online user's guide. It's a PDF, and I'll click on that real quick to show you what's going on there. But basically, it's just all the stuff, and there's a lot going on. Oh, gosh, I guess I've never used Adobe on this. There we go. So there's a lot going on um, with your scan tool that you may not be aware of. A lot of little details. So there's, there's some good information here if you've never gone through it. Probably not a bad idea to take a quick look at that. But that's not what this video is about. So just be aware that that's also included in that. It also talks about the uh, scope features in the gas analyzer if you happen to have those add-ons. But now the first thing I want to show you is this one. Not quite as useful, but uh, good if you want to just see things blown up on the big screen. And that's your remote uh, remote view. So uh, you have to have your scan tool on. You're going to go there. And on your scan tool, you're going to go to Diagnostic Toolbox. You're going to go over to Remote Display, and you are going to uh, hit the wired, in my case. Very rare to find a wireless account here. But once that's done, ta-da, there it is. It pops up. And so I can uh, then exit back out and go back into regular scan diagnostics, find a car, and uh, go from there. So a lot, lot of options there. Again, it's a little bit sluggish. So if you have an Evo, Genesis Evo, this goes a little bit quicker because it's a USB connection. I'm actually on a serial connection with this older model, but it does work. So just be aware that that is something you can have. And of course, OTC makes a very long extension cable. So if you want to use this on a laptop or if you have a computer on your on your toolbox and you want to, like I have here, and want to be able to uh, view it on the bigger screen, you you can definitely do that. But I'm going to go ahead again, exit out of that because again, that's not really where. Uh, you know, I'm going to be going into depth here. We do have our tool update. Again, here's our scan tool update. This is going to check it. There are no more revisions coming. So uh, it's good. I mean, you can still go out on the Internet and take a look at that. It's going to check it, and it's going to just tell me um, that the latest version is, uh, like, what is it now? Well, I'm going to get exit out of there because I don't want to do an update right now. But it's it's already, it's like 5.16.16 is the last update. So as long as you have that, that's pretty much as good as you're going to get. Okay, so for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be showing you the most important one of these four programs that it comes with, and that's Conatech, right? So on this, I'm going to go ahead and open that program up. On my scan tool, I'm going over to Diagnostic Toolbox. Now I'm also going to connect to the Conatech icon. It's going to ask me wired or wireless, just like before. I'm going to hit wired. And right there, we should have some connection. There we go, connected to scan tools. So go ahead and click OK on that. So one of the cool things we've got here is we have the ability to transfer files back and forth between the scan tools, saved files, and the Conatech uh, software here. So if you were doing uh, test drives, trying to find intermittent faults, this is a great program because on the scan tool, well, it's a little sluggish, but it actually is recording at actual speed and actual time. It's just playback seems to be a little sluggish after all these years. So I have found that by transferring files back to this and then playing them back on this, you get a lot better uh, 
I'll go ahead and choose that one. We'll go ahead and press play. You can see what we got going on here, right? So it's going to, it's going to roll through as we're driving. Here's, this is just RPM, but take a look. There's some other stuff we got. You know, you can use an analog dial. Uh, you can use a digital readout. You can use a digital readout with a bar graph. Uh, and then, uh, you know, purely text. And then we also have our digital readout here, which is really nice. I like the graphing function of this probably the most. So some of these aren't going to move a lot. I'm not going to, this is not a, this is not a video that's going to explain to people what they don't already know, uh, as far as things changing. You know, some sensors are going to give you a digital sine wave pulse and some are going to give you one of these and some of these are just going to be going straight up. So that you should already know about. I really can't help you if you don't know that, but that's uh, pretty cool. You have a way of sorting these. So I can look at this from A to Z. I can look at it from uh, the digital aspect, duty cycle stuff, right? Well, let's go back. I'll show you that. So there's our duty cycle on stuff. So really cool, really cool. So if you weren't aware of this, this is, this is pretty cool. We have the ability to uh, move stuff around so I can change it if I want to look at what two things we're doing side by side. Say I want to look at uh, grams per second on an air mass meter and look at the ECT at the same time. I can shuffle that all around. So it has a lot of functions that the actual scan tool does not have uh, built in on board. So it's really nice. And then of course you can save files or save screen uh, captures of that, which is nice. And then, uh, and then that's it. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I'm going to stop that there. And so there's some other stuff in, in kind tech. And again, this is getting somewhat dated over here, but I do still find this somewhat useful. If you're running a shade tree shop, if you're a one man show, you might find this to be, you know, kind of, uh, an okay way of saving data and customer information. I've just got a fake account here named Joe and uh, we pull up. So if I had 50 different customers that would rip down with 50 different names, and uh, once you get in there, there's Joe. I have, I can put in his address. I can say he's in, uh, Moncure and he's in North Carolina and, uh, zip code. I don't know. Well, phone number, anything, you know, there's a lot of stuff we can do here, right? An email. And we just saved that. Okay. We want to add that. So now if I go in there and I want to find, Hey, what was that, Joe? I need to call him and tell him his car's fixed. Hey, look at that. It's all loaded in there. So it really does, it's not, you know, it's not going to uh, build a ticket for you, but as far as keeping a customer database, if you were going to handwrite your tickets, but just wanted a way to look up customer info, this would be a great way to do it. And here's a still picture of the paperwork I use on the shop. I still use uh, handwritten tickets. Um, I looked at buying RO Writer and uh, several other cheaper programs and I decided for the amount of work that I'm doing here at the house that uh, this works just fine, just handwritten. So I, I got some handwritten tickets, but I do use this stuff for a customer database. And, uh, and I actually do have a customer database with people's files in it, but obviously I'm not using that for today's, <laughs> today's stuff where I might be giving up personal information, right? So anyway, that's it. Uh, and then we have here shop information, Farpoint Farms Restoration. Some information about the scan tool is going to tell you what version of the software you're using, serial number, version number. I mean, it's really cool. It even has an IP address, which is kind of interesting. And that's the tool IP. So that's that's kind of weird. Scan tool IP and com. I'm on a, a serial port. So if you had to wirelessly hooked up or if it was a later Evo model with USB, it would show that as well. But here's an opportunity. If I want to print off screen save stuff, I can have my uh, shop information listed here. So. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You can, like I said, there's your printer stuff. So that's it. This is, uh, I would imagine this will be the last video I do on the uh, OTC Evo and OTC Genesis and Genesis Classic. Great scan tools, getting a little long in tooth now, but if you've never played with that software CD that came with your came with your device, well, this is it. Like I said, the, the user guide, remote display, Connie Tech, which is probably the best software uh, on the package. And uh, NGIS uh, tool update. So if your uh, Evo crashes and won't restart or your Genesis Classic won't restart and says it has corrupt files, best way to go about fixing that is just do a, a reflash of the CF card using that program. You're going to get the latest software. It goes out on the Internet and finds that 5.16.16, stalls it automatically on your card, and, and when you plug it back in, you're good to go. I guess I'll leave it at that. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, perhaps you will think about liking and subscribing because I will be getting into some other scan tool stuff. I've got Toyota TechScream. I've got um, uh, Volvo's uh, Vita software and the older Volvo FCR, which is, you know, 96 to 98 only software. 
And I also have Vita, you know, down here. You can see the Vita programs. I also have a, a program for Mitsubishi called eTax, eTax programming. So I'll, I'll probably get into all that stuff at some point. So if you like automotive related videos, well, I have some how to videos. But if you're looking at scan tool videos, you probably already know how to. But uh, these might be something that you find interesting, especially for the home mechanic, somebody who's working out of their own shop uh, or maybe a one or two man shop. This kind of stuff would be probably useful for you. Till next time, I will see you. Take care. Something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet.